Mississippi, the Element Well Studios have been relocated to Collins, Mississippi. We are at Worldwide Ford in Lincoln on Highway 49. Come by and get you a good deal. Also want to point out that Piggly Wiggly in Seminary, People's Bank of Collins, Wade Funeral Home, Caleb's Hometown Pharmacy, and Mitchell Farms all are Donors making this, uh, sponsors making this, I should say, making this broadcast possible right here from Collins, Mississippi. Joining us now is Marie Shoemake from the Covington County Chamber. Got her Okatoma River Festival shirt on 2021, right? <laughs> 2021. That looks great. Welcome to the program. Thank you so much. Appreciate y'all coming to Covington County. Our pleasure. So how long have we been doing the Okatoma Festival? We've been doing it for 34 years. 34 years. years. Yeah. It began, uh, as I said, 34 years ago is the Look Around Mississippi program. To, yeah. Uh, actually, you know, to boost pride in our state, it was an MEC program that challenged communities to do something. And so we got together and we planned a festival and we asked our hometown hero, Gerald McCraney, to come home for it. So naturally we had a huge turnout. But after three years, the state went on to something else. But the people in our community said, no, this is a hometown event now and it involves everybody. It gives everybody an opportunity to showcase what they have done during, yeah. during the year. Yeah, so Gerald McCraney, of course, a uh, famous actor, very yes. successful in his own right. Uh, I think he starred, was it Major Dad was the program I think he's mostly known for? I think so. That was really a great program, by it the way. It certainly was. <laughs> yeah, he's awesome. Uh, so what are the dates and times of the festival exactly? Where does it take place? Actually, the festival will kick off tonight, Friday night, okay. with fair rides, and everybody will be getting their booths set up. They're already marked up on that courthouse lawn, and so people come in Friday night, so it has an economic impact on our community, too, because they stay at our motel sure. and, and eat at our restaurants, and sure. all, which is great, but then it will kick off in the morning with a 5K run walk and also a children's fun run. And so but that will take place at the Methodist Church at 8 o'clock. And uh, we're looking forward to it. It's always a fun event. They say that people, I never have run it myself, but they say that they love it with the rolling hills and all, that it's a fun race. And uh, it's done by Mississippi Timing Race Club. They yeah. come in and do it. So it's uh, just one of those fun events that we look forward to every year. How many folks do you expect to attend the festival? The festival? Yeah. Ooh. Weather being beautiful, yeah. I would say between 10 and 12,000. Wow. It'll be in and out with people all day long. That's awesome. Yeah. And so uh, do many of these folks come from outside the county? They're visitors into the area for the festival? They do. They come from outside the county, surrounding communities with arts and crafts. We love to have Some of them even come from out of state. I told we have a runner coming from Louisiana this morning. Mm -hmm. So uh, you just never know. But uh, we have over 115 booths set up on our courthouse lawn that starts in crafts and then on first street it's an overflow and we have probably about 20 booths on first street and that doesn't count our food vendors which we have about 28 food vendors uh, anything from crawfish to barbecue mm -hmm. to homemade ice cream it's just wonderful come hungry <laughs> you know right and so and most of this happens at the main street courthouse area of collins is right. That right yes that's where where it occurs so yeah. and we've got a wonderful car show coming in oh okay so, yeah so we have something for everybody awesome that that is totally awesome how long have you been involved in the okotoma festival 34 years. Oh, for all of them. <laughs> right. That's awesome. Congratulations. Well, thank you. That is fantastic. 
I got to believe this is the biggest thing you guys do as part of the chamber, huh? Well, yes, it is. And then we have a wonderful event around Christmas, starting okay. actually Thanksgiving, Christmas in the park. And it's a drive through and it's free. And we've had wonderful sponsors and people that buy honorariums and memorials throughout okay. the year. And uh, we had over 5,000 people drive through last year. Wow. And so, uh, Marie, is there a team you work with that, that uh, helps orchestrate all this? Got to be, huh? Oh, yeah, of course. You couldn't <laughs> That's do a lot of work. You couldn't do it without volunteers. Yeah, I've sure. got a chairman for each thing. And as I said, it's a community event like our homemakers. They show off their quilt show during okay. the year. It's a fundraiser for them. And our high school also has a program where students make quilts and it gives them an opportunity to showcase what they do. Of course, we have our uh, three local schools, yep. and it's a chance for their band to actually march and perform. And then we also have Youth Challenge coming every year, okay. bringing their kids up here to march, and we look forward to them. It's almost a tradition for them to come to our, our festival. Right. And uh, as I said, have a chairman of the car show, uh, chairman for our school art events that you know, for the children, mm -hmm. and we display those, you know, downtown, and uh, chairman for our parade. So it takes everybody doing their part, and then it just kind of all comes together. So do you have to work with uh, local officials, the mayor, the mayor's office, law enforcement, and so forth? Oh, absolutely, yes. Mm -hmm. We couldn't do our run without our uh, uh, local law enforcement because they cross over the highway and run through our beautiful park city park and so it takes them that they're around all day helping and as i said we have fair rides that start tonight and uh people come out on friday night just to see what's going on sure you, you know sure do you uh, do you ever know of any situations where someone comes in from out of town and and they enjoy the festival they enjoy the city the county the people all the other assets and they decide to stay does that happen? Yeah, it's often. Yeah, we have a lot of retirees that have come to our community because we're so centrally located. Yeah. You know, and uh, as older people uh, need to sell their homes or pass away and their children are off somewhere mm -hmm. else, we've had people come in and we, we've loved them. Yeah. And I like the way the community accepts them. Sure. You, you know, but every year for our festival, we. Uh, for many years, we honored Mississippians, and that was good. And then we had a committee. They wanted to get some upscale entertainment, so we did. You know, it's hard to follow Gerald. <laughs> and, yeah, he, yeah. And, and he's come back several times for different things. Sure. But uh, this year we have a, a young lady. Uh, actually, she's from Alabama. Her name is Ashton Shepard, and she's been in Nashville before. And after kind of a tour in Nashville, uh, she's back home in Alabama, but she's touring, doing some touring and all. And uh, they say she's very good. B-95 has been playing wow. her, her music, and that's made more people sign up for the festival. Yeah. And also, I'm anxious to hear her sing in, in person, and she will be entertaining about 12.15. And... Uh, entertained for about an hour, hour and a half. So we look forward to that. And then we have uh, other bands around our county uh, that are coming in and playing, you know, throughout the day. Right. A real good variety of music. We have two stages of entertainment, too. So uh, we have a lot going on that day. There's yeah. something for everybody. Sure. Well, this has got to be, I would think, something that you, you talked about it early in, in uh, our discussion, a shot in the arm for the local economy, the local merchants, restaurants, the hoteliers. They've got to be pretty excited about this. Yep, yeah, they're usually full. They, yeah. re they really are. And sometimes people want to take a break, even though we have these wonderful food vendors. They might want to go to a restaurant and sit down yeah. and, and eat, you know, sure. which is good. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, does it take all year to plan the event for the next year? Well, you're going to kick that off here pretty soon? Well, oh, yes. Uh, 
everybody thinks after the festival it's over. Well, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> you know, you have to do all the taxes for the state. Oh, and, yeah. yeah and things like that. And, right. and hand them in. And so it's a boost, you know, to, to our economy. Besides, people buying gas and, uh, you know, stopping eating at a restaurant and, as I said, purchasing merchandise and of course it's a good time because it's a week before Mother's Day so if you haven't bought your Mother's Day present come to the festival and buy our unique gift you know absolutely and uh, so it's definitely a boost to our economy but not only that it's a reunion time where people are out interacting with everybody networking coming home because they know that they'll see people yeah so they kind of have a reunion and beat up yeah. you know which is fun sure and it's always the first saturday in in may okay yeah that's before people separate the kids are out, you know still in school yeah and everything so we couldn't have all the bands and all if we didn't have the involvement of our schools. Well, I'm sure it will be once again a, uh, a raving success, and congratulations on uh, the durability of an event like this going on for 34 years. That is quite impressive, and I know you guys have a great time, and uh, it's got to be a little relief when it's over, but you'll get going next year. Appreciate you coming on the show. Well, Thanks. thank you. Well, we thank our sponsors for it with that. Absolutely. Our sponsors. Coming right back in the Element Well Studios, we're in Collins, Mississippi.